All right, guys, welcome back to another battle featuring 16th century Europe. We are heading over to modern day Poland for the War of Polish Succession, the Battle of Nechina. Now, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong because my Polish is terrible. So I apologize to any of my Polish viewers out there. But what we're going to see is a Polish-Lithuanian army of about 6,000 go up against an Austrian army of about 6,500. And uh, topple them. So I am going to be outnumbered in this battle, but what I do have on my side is a superior number of cavalry, which is apparently how Poland managed to pull off this victory. So I'm going to try to do the same, use my cavalry as... Uh, the key to getting victory in this battle. Now, uh, if you're unfamiliar with this period in history, Poland and Lithuania have become uh, sort of allies, but also sort of like a unified state. Uh, essentially, I think going back to the Battle of Grunwald, which we covered, uh, but the basic idea was that uh, there was a new sort of Baltic region um, establishing itself as its own center for trade, uh, especially in the Baltic Sea, but also for being the cornerstone for movement of goods from Northern Asia or Russia and Scandinavia down into Central and Eastern Europe uh, to the south. And Poland and Lithuania established themselves as a powerful force following the Battle of Grunwald in which they defeated the Teutonic Order. Well, now they're up against the Austrians. The Habsburg dynasty is rising out of the Holy Roman Empire to establish their own sort of independent nation state as uh, what we think of as Austria today uh, will eventually rise to become the Austro-Hungarian Empire, of course. But uh, they are trying to expand to capture the monopoly on Baltic trade that Poland-Lithuania holds. And Poland-Lithuania is going to hold on to that against uh, Austrian aggression. Uh, so what we're doing is I'm posting a small cavalry force over on my left flank, off, uh, left of my infantry troops. As you can see, these guys look great. Now I'm actually going to form square here because the Austrians also have a lot of cavalry as you can see and it looks like they may threaten my uh, infantry out here and I don't really have enough cavalry to just take that cavalry out by themselves so forming infantry squares there's also some Austrian artillery coming in so uh, unfortunately the square is not great for dealing with artillery but I would rather deal with casualties from artillery than deal with casualties from cavalry. Especially in this time period, because the artillery is not great. Uh, but anyway, I'm moving in the first half of my right flank cavalry now. My goal is to sweep through this group of Austrian cavalry and then go for the Austrian artillery with the reserve half which you can see are moving into position as we speak. This little cavalry duel happening over here on the right. Now over on the left, it looks like the Austrians are moving in to assault my cavalry out here. They may have been considering an assault on the infantry squares, but I believe the squares have done their job, funneled some of the Austrian cavalry towards my cavalry, while maintaining some good fire to help support my boys on uh, their mighty steeds over here. Looks like the Austrian infantry moving in now that there's a little bit of pressure from both sides. Uh, maybe trying to make a move on my infantry squares. Thank you. 
Now over in the back lines, it appears as we've got two halves of our cavalry. The uh, the force that first crashed into oh got their shot off. That's unfortunate, but. Uh, the first force is now turning on the uh, Austrians a little bit closer to my infantry, while the second half is moving on the Austrian artillery, which we can see there. And now we're just going to join them and run down the line, the Austrian line here, and take out the last of the Austrians. My infantry forming back into lines. There's not a whole lot of Austrian cavalry left to have to worry about. So we're going to get into a position to uh, duke it out with the Austrian infantry now. A little bit of a pause in the battle as I kind of position my uh, my forces into stage two of this battle, dealing with the Austrian infantry. Oh man, that guy went down. Now over here I'm still in square because there is some Austrian cavalry out there, but it appears my cavalry is taking the last of them out. I'm moving some of my cavalry in to help over on my left flank. And that's going to basically be it for uh, these Austrian horsemen over here. Oh, take it out. Uh, I've got cavalry starting to battle the Austrian infantry over here. Which I will say the Austrian infantry look great. I like the, the gray with green trim. I've got some of my more professional horsemen over here dealing with them. Nice sabers. Kind of that Mameluke style saber. Curved edge. I like it. I like it. Austrian infantry over here still struggling as uh, they are getting rapidly surrounded. More cavalry assaults on Austrian infantry positions. Trying to catch these guys before they can have a chance to get into square formation. Man, they are getting tightly packed as my horsemen surround them in here. It looks like they are breaking, so we're just going to ride those guys down shattered. Uh... And I've moved my infantry in for melee assaults now. I believe we... Okay, I don't think we've plugged bayonets, though. <coughs> this is a good time to thank my Patreon subscribers, the Togma Targus, Bob Wilson, Lokagos, Melissa Carter, Neil Christie. So thanks to those who have subscribed to my Patreon channel. If you guys are interested in subscribing, you can enter the link in the video description below. We also have an online store. You guys can get some cool history-inspired apparel, and uh, as well as some home decor. So there should be a link to the online store in the comments or the uh, video description below as well. But anyway, that's going to just about holy cow wrap it up for the battle here, guys. I think we're just riding Austrian troops down. We have succeeded in defeating Austria. Oh man, a little bit of resistance from some of the Austrians trying to help their companions survive out there. Uh, but guys, that's going to be the battle. If you liked this battle, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more battles from 16th century Europe, let me know in the comments below which battles you'd like to see. And if you want to stay up to date on all of our battle reenactments, go ahead and hit the subscribe button.